The overall goal of the procedure is to study learning and memory in adult Drosophila melanogaster. First, to determine if the flies suffer from locomotor deficits, they are tested in the negative geotaxis assay. Positive phototactic behavior is then verified by placing flies in a T maze and recording the latency to move toward the favored, lighted chamber. Flies with positive phototaxis are then conditioned to associate the lighted chamber with the bitter taste of quinine. Ultimately, flies are tested on how well they associate the aversive stimulus with the lighted chamber, providing a measure of learning and memory. Hola, welcome to the Xylab. Today, we'll be demonstrating to you two commonly used behavioral assays to study neurodegeneration in Drosophila. First, we'll show you the aversive phototaxis suppression assay demonstrated to you by Wilfredo Escala, an undergraduate in our lab, and myself which will be followed by the negative geotaxis assay demonstrated to you by Kai Ruan, a graduate student in our lab. Maintain the flies on a standard cornmeal agar molasses yeast medium at 25 degrees Celsius on a 12-hour light dark cycle. On the day of the eclosion, sort virgin flies into groups of 20. Virgin flies are identified by their light color and a dark greenish spot located on the underside of their abdomen. The flies should be transferred into a fresh vial every three days, and sibling flies should be used to minimize differences arising from genetic backgrounds. Ten to twenty groups per genotype or treatment should be tested in a geotaxis study. To begin, sort female and male...